well, Kilauea has become the central focus again. And there is a steady sign of magma movement on the OBL seismic station presented in spectral view currently. And the fresh magma is making its way into Kilauea's caldera. And there's not a lot of information of what to expect just yet. But as more information comes in with analysis and ongoing activity, uh, we'll be able to decide exactly uh, or see exactly what's going to happen. The last I heard from Philip Ong with the uh, YPODD is there's a blockage preventing magma flow traveling to. <laughs> traveling to uh, Puo, to th or through Puo to the East Rift Zone. Uh, more commonly known as the area of Lil Lani or Fissure 8. Uh, but currently, the blockage, I believe, is a key point of what will happen next in picking where the fresh magma travels and uh, what happens when the eruptions of Kilauea occur next. Kilauea is a uh, caldera volcano, which erupts through fumaroles and vents, and uh, the volcano has then released its magma through uh, lava spouts, pools, and rivers. You can view the videos from the 2018 eruption on my channel and other places as well to see further examples of this activity. Uh, to explain what a caldera is, I found a USGS video which is pretty good. Uh, it covers it pretty well. Cheers and science on. Hi, I'm Dr. Dina. I work with the U.S. Geological Survey in Menlo Park, California with the Volcano Hazards Program. Today we're going to talk about calderas. When most people think about volcanoes, they think of a triangle shape. And that's what many volcanoes look like. But there are other shapes too. And one of those is called a caldera. What we've done is created a simple experiment to show how calderas form. The experiment uses flour, a piece of tubing with a balloon attached at the end, and a bicycle pump. So what I want you to imagine is that this is the surface of the Earth in an area that's volcanically active. Underneath the surface of the Earth, we're going to inject some magma. When we inject the magma using our handy bicycle pump, it's going to push the surface up. So let's watch. As you can see, the flower is being moved out of the way as we inflate the balloon or add magma to the system. The Volcano Hazards Program has monitoring equipment at different volcanoes to watch ground deformation such as this. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that this large amount of magma erupts. To do that, I'm going to let the air out of the balloon and then we're going to watch to see what happens. So as the air comes out of the balloon, you want to imagine the magma escaping from the magma chamber. Once the magma leaves the magma chamber, there's nothing to hold up the overlying rock. And so all that rock collapses down to where the chamber used to be. So you can see in our experiment, the flower has now collapsed in a somewhat circular shape. We call this shape a caldera.